Hello, is your WinMax 2 way too noisy? Does it sound and feel like this? Bzzz, even at very low TDPs? Well, mine did. In this video, I'll tell you what I learned from investigating my Intel unit and my AMD unit, how I fixed this problem for me, and how tape once more was part of the solution. Some of you might know that I have an Intel prototype WinMax 2 since early July and I got my final WinMax 2 AMD unit from Indiegogo about two weeks ago. My Intel unit did not have any fan vibration or loud fan noise going on. Only the final AMD unit has this problem. If the Intel unit had this problem, I would have complained a lot to GPD and told them to fix this. If my Intel unit is relatively silent and my AMD unit is quite noisy, one of the obvious solutions would be to just swap the fans. And I did exactly that. And the outcome, you guessed it, was the same. My Intel unit was still pretty silent and my AMD unit had the same vibrations and noise going on. So something must have changed inside the final unit compared to the prototype which amplifies the vibration of the fan and makes the unit pretty noisy even at low TDP. Once I came to that conclusion I swapped the fans back so my Intel unit now has its Intel prototype fan inside and my AMD unit has its original AMD retail fan inside. Nevertheless, my AMD unit is way more silent than it was before. If the case amplifies the vibration and produces noise as a result, I have to damper those vibrations and hinder the case from taking over those vibrations. My solution was to put a cheap piece of foam between the fan and the case. I will open up my unit for you, show my modifications and explain the reasoning behind them. The fan is held in place by two screws. One over there and one there. If you lift the fan a bit, you can see the socket where the fan is mounted. It has an inner and an outer circle. So if you just place it on top, the fan is not properly mounted. You have to push a little to make it snap in. So the fan and the socket are connected tightly. See, here is a little bit resistance. Now I removed it. This little connection between the fan and the motherboard or the whole housing in general is what is responsible for the vibration of the fan to be transferred to the whole unit and to be amplified. I booted up my unit with the back blade removed and as soon as the fan touched this little socket, even if it wasn't clicked in but just touched it loosely, the vibration was all there and the noise was super loud. My approach is to take some piece of foam and put it between the fan and the socket. So it goes like, like this. This piece of foam is about half a millimeter thick. I took four layers of it so it was about two centimeters of foam, put it between the socket and the fan and squeezed it. You can squeeze this foam quite a bit so those layers don't hurt. The result is tiny, just like that. Make sure the foam does not touch any of the electrical components. There is tape over there already from GPD. So I'm safe and it 
cannot touch anything. As you can see, the fan can vibrate and the housing doesn't take over the vibrations. At first, I wanted to put back in the screws to hold the fan in place, but as soon as I mounted one of the screws, the vibration was transferred to the housing once again and the noise was all there. So I had to go with a solution without the screws. As you might think, an obvious solution is to take a piece of tape and hold the fan in place. And that's exactly what I did. This is how my final solution looks like. There are no screws. There is quite a bit of foam between the fan and the mount over there and no foam over there. And the fan is held in place via three strips of tape. It still can move a little. And here you have it. With this tiny and super simple fix, I can enjoy my AMD retail unit so much more. In idle mode, the unit is almost absolutely silent and I can play games below 10 watt TDP without the fan noise being louder than the game sound itself. I hope this helps those of you who have those loud and super annoying fan vibrations going on. All you need for this fix is a piece of tape and a piece of foam. I encourage you to try this out and hopefully your results will be as good as mine. See you next time. Bye bye!